Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share some Walmart new arrivals with y'all. These are great pieces to add to your summer wardrobe. Starting off with this romper. This is actually what I'm wearing today. It's very comfortable, but still makes me feel like cute and put together. It is also nursing friendly with the buttons. Comes in four colors. I am wearing a size small. It has a little bit of a roomier fit. So if you are in between sizes, I would say you can size down. Has a little scrunch back here at the waist to kind of draw your waistline in. Love the tie waist detail here. And then it's just kind of like a collared, almost linen blend top. I love the sleeve. It has like a slight flare to it, three quarter length. It honestly looks and feels way more expensive than it was. This is definitely a really, really great buy at Walmart. I also really like the light blue as well. I did keep my undergarments neutral. Um, you can see a little bit of the white pocket coming through here. Just wanted to mention that. And this is like a warm ivory color. For my shoes here, I'm wearing these neutral sandals. I'll show you all close up. I really love this brand for shoes. They're so affordable, but they have such cute styles. I also love this lighter kind of blushy nude color. I will say if you have a narrow foot or a shallow foot, I would stay clear of these. The top straps definitely are roomier on my foot and my foot has a little bit of movement to it, um, but that is great news if you do have a wider foot. All right next is this comfy kind of basic t-shirt dress. I love the light blue stripes. It does come in multiple colors and then it has this little twist detail on one side. Had to look it up because at first I was like, was my top sewn on incorrectly? Um, but no, that is how it is meant to be. This is just one of those great like summer basics that you can throw on and be comfortable, great for travel, great for vacay, great for like running around. If you have kids, throw on some sneakers. I am wearing a size small and it does have like a roomier kind of boxy fit. So if in between sizes, I would say you can definitely size and down. Because of the length of this dress, I totally think that it is also summer office appropriate as well. So here is how I would style it for the office. I just paired it with my pearl flats. And then I threw over this little layer just because most offices probably won't let you do like a tank top like this. And I also always get chilly. So I always reach for this piece. Like if I'm going to a restaurant and I know I'll be cold in the AC. This is like my go-to layering piece, and I have no doubts that this will be in the Nordstrom sale coming up, so definitely hold off on buying it now. Um, I picked mine up in the sale a couple years ago, and I still love it to this day. Definitely one of my favorite buys, because I get so much wear out of it. It's a super soft cashmere. So I'm not sure what happened, but I definitely ordered the wrong size in this dress. It is a size large, so this one's definitely um, very big on me, but I still wanted to share it with y'all cause I think it's super cute. Um, and I do think if I had ordered a small, it would fit great. Um, it has like a good stretch here on the side. So I feel like overall the fit is very forgiving, definitely bump friendly. And I would even say nursing friendly as well. It has this little layer piece over the top. And then these are just like a color blocking um, very fun for summer. I am definitely a fan of color blocking throughout the summer. I think that's when I'm most likely to like add some fun pops of color into my wardrobe. So I think this is definitely super fun. And then I paired it with these Amazon sandals that I have literally worn in every single try on haul since getting them back in January. I will give you all a little heads up. Amazon prime day is coming up and I know that these are going to be on sale. So I would personally hold off on buying them. Um, Prime Day is the 12th and 13th. I probably could get in trouble for sharing this with y'all, but I don't think anyone's going to see it from Amazon. But yeah, add these to your cart if you have had your eye on them and then wait for the 12th to buy them. I do plan to cover Prime Day this year. I haven't really covered it much in the past just because I found it very overwhelming, but I've been able to prep for it a little bit more this year. So definitely be on the lookout for some of my favorite Prime Day deals, I'll have a video going up on the 12th and probably the Sunday before as well. I feel kind of indifferent about this dress because like from far away, I love it. I love the stripes. I'm such a fan of blue and white stripes during summer. I think it's really like a great basic dress that I would reach for a lot during the summer. Also feels like it will keep you nice and cool. But I do think the fit overall could be better. And the top is just really roomy. It's kind of like bunching all through here on both sides. And then it also is kind of hanging on the side. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a good thing in the summer because you don't want things to be too tight. 
but I feel like it looks a little messy. And I would be hesitant to size down because there is a seam right here through the hips. And if that ends up being too tight around the, the hips, it can create like a pooch right here when there's like two seams. That's definitely something I would always look out for in dresses like this because I know I always have an issue with that. So a lot of times I actually size up in dresses with this type of stitching, but definitely didn't need to in this one. So it is like a little bit roomier for a size small, but I would be hesitant to size down. All right, next is this maxi dress, and this is super comfortable. Definitely like a great kind of casual piece, good for traveling. I am wearing a medium and it's definitely big on me. I think the small was probably sold out. Um, so it's just a little roomy, but I would say it does fit true to size um, for this brand at Walmart. This comes in multiple colors. It kind of has a heathered texture to it. I would say, like I'm wearing a nude bra underneath. If I was wearing like a bright white bra, I think you could see that coming through, but I wouldn't say this is see-through by any means. It does have a little bit of a thicker strap. You could easily wear a regular bra with this, a little bit of kind of ruching through the middle there. And then here I'm wearing it with no shoes just so you could see the length of this. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference and it is just barely grazing the ground, especially in the back. So if you are petite, unfortunately this one will be too long for you unless you wear it with like a, a good heel. Um, but if you are taller too, this would be a really great option to consider. All right, next is this cute little elevated tee. I think this would be such a cute casual 4th of July outfit and you can add little pops of red with your accessories or even like just doing like a red nail polish or something like that. And this basic tee runs true to size. I'm wearing a small. The material here is a little bit like of a thicker cotton. It feels like good quality. And then the blue and white stripes on the sleeves are also repeated in the back as well. I just paired it here with some denim shorts. These are my favorite. And then these comfy little braided sandals. Um, they do run true to size. I'm wearing a size 28 in these shorts, um, but this is definitely a cute little summer basic tee. I shared this handbag in I think my last Walmart haul and I just wanted to bring it back because it has been on rollback for a while. So you can currently snag it on sale if you have been eyeing it. It comes with a longer strap, um, but I personally love to wear it just like as a, a literal handbag. It comes in three colors, but of course I love the little blush option. Here is another cute little elevated basic top. I love the peplum detail. Unfortunately, this one is definitely not nursing friendly. You do need to wear a sticky bra with it because it is cut out in the back, but it has such a cute little bow tie detail. The material on this is kind of like a linen texture, almost feels like slightly like burlap, but it's not itchy or anything like burlap, but that's just kind of what it is reminding me of. Has a little puff sleeve detail. And overall, the top is definitely longer. As you can see, I have my shorts on. So I wouldn't pair it with these shorts just because I don't love how this looks. Because of the length and with it being summer, I do feel like that limits you a little bit with what you can style it with. Personally, I think the only thing I can think of is really like a pair of jeans. And I don't really want to wear jeans in the summer. Maybe during the night or something like that. But all things considering, I do think it's super cute, but I do feel like it is somewhat limiting with the length. Although it would definitely be bump friendly. Um, I think it would have plenty of length if you wanted to wear it with a pair of like maternity bottoms. So I am not loving this top on me. And of course I'll tell you why. I feel like I'm being super picky in this haul. I know that's why most of y'all follow me over here because I definitely share the good and the bad. And I'm just having a couple more bad than I normally do in this these videos. On my body type, I'm just not loving the illusion that this top is giving. I feel like on camera it does, it looks a little more flattering, um, but it's just something about the shoulder situation. So for one, the horizontal stripes are definitely adding more width to my shoulders. And then the shoulder in general is sitting much wider. So it's actually sitting off my shoulder, which again, I feel like accentuates more width and broadness. And then with the puff here, I just feel like it's a triple combo that's really accentuating um, and giving me the illusion of bigger, like manly shoulders is how I feel like it looks. I like the idea of the sleeves because I feel like it gives it a girlier touch, which I love. And it's also just different. Um, but I just think with the stripes and where it's sitting on me, I just don't love it. Material is very soft. 
It's also not super see-through, which sometimes you can get with white striped basics like this. I'm going to also like the fit overall, like in the body. I'm wearing a size small and I have plenty of room to kind of tuck it and things like that. But yeah, I'm just not loving the shoulder situation. Unfortunately, I also do not love this dress and I don't want y'all to take this as like, I'm not liking my body. That's not it whatsoever. I just don't think that these pieces are flattering my body type and that is 100% what clothes are meant to do. It's because my eye immediately goes to my hip area in this dress. It draws a lot of attention. I think because of all of the pleats that are kind of right through here. And then this seam right here is a little bit higher than usual. So I feel like it's creating this inner tube situation right here. So it's just really giving my hips and waist bulk. I just feel like this one definitely doesn't do me justice. It's not my body's fault. It's definitely the cut of this one. So yeah, just not for me. I think if you do have a straight figure, this will give you some nice illusion of curves. But for me, this one is definitely a return. It's also, these are faux buttons. So just a heads up there. But these are very, very comparable. They're super padded, just like the originals. Um, and there's actually one less strap here, which I actually like. It's a little more streamlined on the foot. Um, I, if you're in between sizes, I would say to size up. I went with a nine in these, um, and they are very comfortable and easy to walk in. Back in this romper since it's what I'm wearing today, and I wanted to head out to the patio to share our new patio furniture because I did get it at Walmart, and I'm so, so impressed with the quality. So here is our new patio furniture. I absolutely love it. I've been eyeing this since earlier this year, and then it was sold out for a little while. And when it restocked, I immediately pulled the trigger on it. It is very comfortable to sit in. The cushions are softer, almost like kind of like a couch in comparison to our last set, which was very firm. So it's really comfortable to kind of sit back and relax in. We have been using this space so much more now that we got it. And another random home item I got is this blanket. This is actually from the Gap Kids Home line. Um, but I thought this would be such a cute little outdoor blanket specifically. It's kind of a textured material. It comes in multiple colors and I just thought this would be a perfect kind of layout when I want to get outside with Josie. They also had a really cute like rainbow set so I bought some towels that I'm still waiting on getting um, but they had like a cute bath mat. I think they even had like this in a bath version as well and even like pillows and things like that so just thought this was cute. It's like an ombre I said I had so many items that I didn't necessarily love. Obviously I don't plan for that but just, of course, always wanting to share my honest thoughts with y'all. So I hope you enjoyed today's Walmart haul nonetheless. And I will see you on Tuesday and Thursday with some new videos this week. Bye!